What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, Keto Savage. We are at the Rocktown Naturals Bodybuilding Competition in Central Arkansas. This is the first NANBF competition for natural bodybuilding in Central Arkansas, and we're super excited. They got powerlifting here. They got an arm wrestling competition. They got a bodybuilding division with bikini, figure, uh, classic physique, physique, and bodybuilding. So super cool event. We're at the state fairgrounds. Uh, Keto Brick has sponsored the event. Uh, so that's super cool, and we're just honored to be here. All right, here we are at the Rocktown Naturals Bodybuilding Competition. How you doing, man? What's your name? Uh, my name is Meta Han Austin. Most people call me Met, like the Mets, but singular. Nice, nice. And you came all the way from Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, this your first competition? Yep, this is my first competition. What What do you think about it so far? Like, what was your prep like? What was your uh, nutrition like? Is it about what you expected? Totally different. I decided I was going to do this six weeks ago, so I think I was a little hasty. And I don't think I had enough time to cut, and I literally started cramming my posing routine like two nights ago. I thought the posing was going to be way easier than it actually was. When it's almost like a dance, it's not something you can learn last moment. So, well, I gotta say, man, six weeks like that's my, my last prep was 33 weeks. So the fact that you did all this in six weeks and started posing like two nights ago, like I'm super impressed, man. I appreciate that, dude. At least I, now I know what I need to work on for next time. So. Are you addicted now? You got you got the bug. My plan was to keep coming until I became an I, I qualified for an IPE competition. So I'll probably in three months I'll come and try again at another NANBF competition. That's my plan right now, at least. What What is your plan today? Now this is done celebratory wise. You got like a meal on mind, or what are you thinking there? I, I think I might DoorDash some BJ's Brew House. I like their uh, fettuccine Alfredo, and I might get the sliders as an appetizer. That's Very what cool. I'm feeling right now. Like that's, that's what you're like, feeling. And this is your first competition. First competition. And uh, as far as like big picture goals, what, what would you see, say you need to do to improve? Like more size, more preparation, more cut time, uh, more, more practice with the posing? I think for men's physique, what I need to focus on is my posing and focus on getting leaner um, and looking a little leaner for the actual show. I think that's mainly what I need. I mean, some size would be nice, but I feel like I'm big enough for men's physique. I just got to focus on being leaner and focus on my posing. I mean, you got great, great shape, man. So if you got leaner and folks on the posing, you'd be, you'd be dangerous out there for sure. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. You bet, man. Keep it up, brother. Have a good one. And take care. Best of luck. You too. All right, so I got Greg here. He's with us at the Keto Brick booth. We're at the Rocktown Naturals competition. Um, what do you think about it all, man? What, what, what's your overall vibe? This is pretty cool. I've never seen, I've never been to like a hybrid event like this. They've got powerlifting. Uh, I think they said drug-tested powerlifting, strongman, arm wrestling, and bodybuilding physique bikini it's kind of all rolled into one venue and the vibe is pretty sweet like there's a variety of people we see old people young people um, people of all different abilities and supplement brands and clothing and keto it's pretty sweet pretty cool I got Donna here he just got off stage doing the men's physique you look phenomenal man what do you think about it all uh, I'm, I'm excited I still like yeah I, I think like it was a great show even though it was a little smaller show but like I think everybody did good. How many shows have you done? Uh, it's my first one, actually. First show? Yeah, Very sure. cool, man. Well, talk to me about your prep. What was your prep like? How long you been prepping? What's the posing like? How's that been yeah. for you? Well, I started like 12 weeks ago. But uh, it's obviously, like, every other uh, prep had, like, ups and downs, you know? Like, uh, maybe, like, caught a little too early. But I had to bump it back up. Like, stay, like, focused on maintaining but I enjoyed it, you know, to be honest with you. It was like a little difficult, but I like to get uncomfortable, you know. No, being uncomfortable is good, man. Why, why natural? What what draws you to the natural sport? Well, to be honest with you, like, uh, I've never been a big fan of, like, uh, taking any substances because I know in the long run it would damage your body a lot more than, like, it would help you. That. A lot of people could take a shortcut, you know. They think about the short, like, uh, way of, like, getting to the things or goals they want to get. But uh, it, in the long run, it doesn't work it because, like, once you get off of them, that's the that's when you actually see the damage that they've done to your body, you know. Well, what's next for me? You got another show in the sights? Uh, I want to get my pro card, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was hoping like I could get my pro card this time, you know, but it's a little smaller show, you know. But the goal is to get the pro card. You know? Hey man, I got no doubt you can do it. You were, you were posing up there, and I'm watching. Like man, this guy's got some delts. So <laughs> you got the shape, you got the size, man. So I got no doubt it'll come. Uh, like I, I think like I, I gotta go ask the judges, you know, like uh, how I did, I, I, because. I want to improve better next time. A lot of people have been telling me to also like compete in the crossover classic, 
because I got a little too big. <laughs> hey, you got a classic physique, man, so I think you could totally rock that. Yeah, yeah. I maybe like think of a classic next time, you know. But I gotta bring up my legs a little more, you know. Hey. But, uh, well, rock and roll, man. You look great. Congratulations. Yeah, Keep I'm killing it, brother. Thank you so happy much. Happy to have you. And I've got the overall winner of the men's physique, Matt Wall. How are you, brother? Pretty good, you? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Was this your first show, second show? Uh, my third show I've ever done. Uh, it's, uh, I had competed GBO over the course of the past three years. I've competed once a year. Seems like every time I compete, something happens, something comes up, and I get knocked down for a little while. But hopefully going to stick to it this time and start putting some shows together, especially come this next year. I've got three to four shows lined up already. Are you based out of Arkansas? Yes, sir. I am uh, just northeast of uh, Jonesboro, out of the Walnut Ridge, Paragould area. We actually currently live in Walcott, which I guarantee very few people have heard of, if, unless you're from that area. Well, I love it, man. Like, I was watching you on stage. You definitely brought the conditioning. You brought, I mean, you got the posing dialed in. Like, you look, there's a reason you got the overall title. Uh, so what, what's next for you, man? Next is I'm going to eat somewhere. Uh, <laughs> it's been it's been a long 10 weeks, uh, up and down, up and down. I've, I fought the diet. It seemed like the diet fought me every step of the way. Uh, I came in three weeks ago, and my body fat was already lower than what I wanted, as well as my body weight. I was not happy about that. I had to fight through a refeed, getting back up, only to come back, because the last thing I wanted to do was present a really flat physique. So I came back, really tried to push getting my body back into the condition that it needed to be and, I, and overall I'm, I'm fairly happy uh, I wish I could have got a little bit more vascularity to pop uh, comes with experience comes with doing it and, and learning how your body reacts because nobody's body reacts the same so really trying to focus on my nutrition and lining everything up for the next show and figuring out a little bit more a couple more mock preps and go from there and see how I react well, you got me curious now, man. So what's your nutrition look like? Like, What was your starting calorie intake at the beginning of the prep? What's it like now? What's your macros? I kind of uncon unconditional, I guess you could say. Uh, for one, I'm 30 years old, and my body hyperreacts. I have a very high metabolism. So I started out 10 weeks ago at around 2,800 to 3,000 calories. Over the course of the next three weeks, I dropped it, depending on my body fat, I dropped it anywhere from two to 400 calories. Trying to get my body lean, to get my body in shape. Well, by the time I had already gotten down to around 2,000 calories, I was dropping too fast. It, it really, it, it affected me quicker than I thought. Well, I bumped it back up to about 2,400 around week three. And then this last week, I really focused on about anywhere from 14 to 1700 calories this week tried to keep carbs fairly low up until last night and this morning and tried to at least get around three grams of carbs per per pound of body fat nice what about your protein fat what you've been keeping that at uh protein protein i kept pretty high uh, up until the past two days i pretty much kept carbs non-existent my body operates a lot more efficiently off of protein and fats I'm stuck more to like a carnivore based diet I really tried to eat a lot of ground beef, steak, and then in this last week, really cut out a lot of my fats and went with a lot more of your lean chicken with asparagus and a little bit of sweet potato here and there just to give me some energy because Lord knows that was gone. Uh, but, you know, that, that's, that's the big thing for me, keeping it around 200 grams of protein. This week I dropped down to about 180, just trying to finish the lean out process. Fats, oh man, you get me to line. I can't even remember what my fats were. Well, sounds like you're kind of halfway to keto carnivore already, man. You ought to just like go full blower with it, you know? It's, if I was a single man, yeah. But whenever I got two kids in the house, they make it very tempting to uh, go with the other stuff. And uh, But that's, that's actually the goal. The goal is to keep a very keto carnivore base friendly diet. I, I, I'm a big big meat pusher and don't get me wrong I love my vegetables I love my Brussels sprouts my Brussels sprouts and asparagus whenever it comes time to prep I don't complain they're all right but as far as leaning out and presenting a very dense very hard physique I have found that in my last two shows keeping it carnivore based with very lean amounts of protein high protein it's the easiest way to lean up well, you mentioned your two daughters. I saw that one of them also competed today. Yep. How old is she? Uh, she is five years old. Turned five years old Tuesday. 
That's awesome, man. And you were doing poses for it, so she knew what she was going to hit. Yeah. She got her sword trophy. It's awesome. Yeah, she gets a little nervous. She does it all the time. Like I said, we've got the gym there in Walnut Ridge, and anytime I'm posing, practicing right there, she's right next to me every step of the way. She loves it, and she loves working out, too. And as he tries, she wanted to do it, too, but she's my, my youngest daughter. She, uh, she'll be two uh, uh, October 17th. Excuse me. And uh, she's just, they're, they're both crazy. They, they they keep me running. I don't have to do much cardio. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well, one more question for you. What's the celebratory meal today? Oh, hopefully some kind of Chinese buffet. All right. Uh, that's where we're, we're going to see. And if not, I really don't know. We had some friends that actually came up from Jonesboro area that came to support me. So I planned on letting them pick. And whatever they picked, I was just going to be happy because it wasn't plain chicken and rice or a bowl of lean ground beef. Well, that's awesome, man. You look incredible. Congrats. You got your hands full, but congrats, brother. Keep killing it, man. Thank you, man. Here we are at the Rocktown Naturals Bodybuilding Show. We have our youngest competitor, Rigel Sykes. How are you, sir? What's your favorite color? <laughs> what do you like doing? Yeah. Do you like tractors? Yeah. Limo. That's a motorcycle for those of y'all that do not know. Say tractor. Tractor. There you go. He loves tractors. Uh, he is our uh, youngest competitor, two years old. Yeah. He loves trailers too. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Anything else you'd like to say? Nope. He is mesmerized by the powerlifting over there. All right, we are at the Rocktown Natural Bodybuilding Competition. I got Patterson Taylor here, and how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm great. Who are these two fine young men? My sons, Wilkinson and Ward. How come you couldn't get them on stage with you, man? They're a little bit uh, stage, uh, a little bit of stage fright going on with them. Got it. But me, I don't know, maybe next year or something, go nice. do the kids, go do the kids competition. And you did the masters category. Masters bodybuilding. Yes. And wh what is your age, if you don't mind me asking? I am 61 years old. 61 years old. Yes. And 61. You look incredible. Thank you. Um, how long have you been bodybuilding? Five. Uh, seriously, for like probably about five years or so, five or six years. Yeah. Nice. Are y'all going to bodybuild? Well, they're they're wrestling right now. That's their wrestling. sport. I got so, it. you know, but but uh, whatever whatever uh, sport they want to do is fine with me. As long as they as long as, long as they want to get into something that's healthy, something that, that keeps them in shape, is totally. good. Well, I'm curious, what's your nutrition been like? How long you been prepping? Can you give me some details there? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I started cutting in January, nice. and I lost about. I mean, I. I bulked up uh, last year after my last show, like in July, and, uh, and you know you get to you, you, your diet's a lot more lax when you're when you're when you're bulking up. But I my, I started seriously cutting in January, losing about a, a pound and a half a week, um, and I did a couple shows you know, earlier this month. This is my last show for this year, uh, so th this is this is actually my lowest body fat. Um, I just m measured myself. Um, what was it Monday? Uh, just just a few days ago, I was at 8.8 percent. So, so that's that's pretty low. That's pretty good. I'll I'll measure myself again tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what I'm at. We well, look incredible. I'm proud of you, man. What's the celebratory meal going to be? Uh, it's going to be a couple of them. I'm going to go to the. We're going to go to the Purple Cow for their uh, onion rings and chili, and then this evening I think we're going to go to Bruno's Italian. Nice. For lasagna. Nice. Well, congratulations! You look incredible, man. Keep it up. Keep keep proving the naysayers wrong. Thank you. You yeah, bet. Thanks. Thank you very much. We'll Thank see you. All. Take care. You got Paige here. You did bikini, correct? Yes, I did. This your first show? First show, yeah. What's your experience been? You like it? Um, yeah. I was really nervous before I got here, but once I got here, I was kind of like, since it's just a smaller show, I expected it to be like ten competitors and everything. But no, it's been it's been pretty fun, yeah. How how long was your prep? What's your nutrition been like? Um, I've been prepping since about February, but I mean even before that. But it got real serious in February, uh, February, and me and my trainer we wanted to do like all natural, so we haven't done any supplements or anything like that. Not even like protein, creatine, basic. No, nothing nice. like that. Yeah, really? and um, yeah, and we haven't we didn't do like a crazy strict diet because I'm just so young and my trainer didn't want me to go through that, but. Yeah, it's it was it's been hard. It's been hard. What what is your celebratory meal tonight? 
Um, we're going to go to Fazoli's and I'm going to get some baked pasta. Nice. <laughs> well, you look very excited about it. Yeah. You should be. You should be. Well, congratulations. You look phenomenal. Keep up the good work. What's, what's the next show in the pipeline? You got something in the, in the queue? We don't know yet, but I'll definitely be doing another show. What is going on, y'all? We're at the Rocktown Naturals. I've got Adrian here. You did the figure competition. Correct. How many shows have you done? Oh, five, six, something five, like six. that. Yeah. What do you think about this one? It was good. It was good. Yeah. So like, it was a very smooth experience. Promoters great. The vendors were great. I'm in love with my tan. I hate to shower. Your, Wash your it off. Your tan looks great. Your color is on point. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I love the tan. Um, overall, people have been great. Yeah, so it was a good experience. Have you always done figure? Did you start bikini and then go to figure? No, I wanted to do bikini, but this body is not a bikini body. It is a figure <laughs> body all day. So I started figure, stayed in figure. Yeah. Well, you look good. phenomenal. My wife's done figure. Okay. And I'm always like looking at figure competitors. You've got perfect shape. You, the color was on point. You look great. You brought the A game. Thank you. What was your prep like? What was your nutrition like? Like, talk to me about that. Um, prep was about four months. Um, it got really, really rough. It's like last four weeks, I kind of had to push more than normal. Um, my body wasn't really cooperating as much as, you know, I'm getting a little older. Sometimes there's a little additional challenges, but um, high protein. Uh, I didn't hit a lot of cardio until like the last like four weeks. And this time I just did walking. So normally I would do like Stairmaster, a lot of other more intense things, but I just walked. Um, and I found that it was better for like my recovery, also just therapeutic. Um, but then it got me where I needed to be, and I didn't have to grind my body down so much. Nice. Yeah. You have another show in the queue, or what's what's in the pipeline for you? Maybe um, we're going to Georgia, so we'll be on the East Coast for the next like month. I might hit a show in North Carolina on the 20th of July, so we'll see. Um, if not, then probably not until August, and then September and October. So you got several shows in the queue. Yeah, so I have some coming up. I'm trying to, you know, like this was just to dust everything off, um, and then just while I'm ready keep things tight for as long as I can and hit a couple shows. When was the last show prior to this one? Three years ago. Three years ago. That's, that's good Three though. Taking some time ago. between shows is good. I didn't plan on having it be that long, but life just kind of happened, so three years ago. Totally. Yeah. What, what is the celebratory meal tonight, or are you going to keep it tight for these upcoming shows? So I'm going to let myself have a meal. Don't know what it's going to be yet, um, and then after that I'll go back to what I'm normally doing just because my body kind of does need a refeed at this yeah. point but then I'll be back on track. So yeah, I have no clue. I'll leave it up to my daughters. Like, you know, they're my wild card. So yeah. I'm like, girls, what do you want to eat? That could you be know? dangerous. It could be, it could be, or it could just be a whole lot of fun. So, you know, yeah. we'll see what happens. Well, you look phenomenal. Keep up the good work. I'm excited to watch the journey unfold. Keep doing what you're doing. You look great. Thank you. What's going on, y'all? We're at the Rocktown Naturals, and we got Guys Hill. Did I get it right? Yeah, you got it right. right. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been prepping, man? Ah, about six months, maybe a little longer. Six months? Six months. Where are you coming from? Mississippi. Mississippi. About three hours, 15 minutes away. Yeah. Is this your first show, second show? Yeah, first show. I actually signed up for Open Novice, but the class, they didn't have it, so I got stuck in Classic. Yeah. No. I mean, you look great, man. What, what What's your experience been with it? You like it? You hooked? Oh, you going to do another one? I'm definitely going to definitely gonna be back here. The promoters did a great job, especially staying in contact throughout the week leading up to the show, letting me know what's going on, getting phone calls. Even last night, you know, got a text message wishing me luck. Uh, they run it very good here, and uh, I love it. Great venue, especially with the power lifting over there and all the uh, vendors here. I love it. It's a very nice place. And you say you've been prepping for six months. six months. So what's your uh, celebratory meal going to be tonight? Uh, pizza and ice cream, man. Pizza, ice cream, and watch some UFC. Nice, nice. So. Well, you look great, man. Keep it up, brother, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate it. You bet, man. We got Will here, the winner of the Classic Physique competition. How are you, sir? Doing good. How are you? I'm good, man. So. Did I hear it right? You are 21 years old? Yes, sir. Yes, How sir. long you been lifting? Uh, All my life, really, yeah. yeah. Ever since I started playing football in the seventh grade, that's when I started lifting. Well, I compete, man. I look at physiques, and you look freaking incredible, man. You got the shape, you got the size, you got the symmetry. So you got, like, a long future ahead in the sport if you want to take it that way. So what, what's, the, what's the long game? What's the plan? Well, the long game is to take it further, you know. You step on stage in the, the big leagues. That's that's my plan right now. And uh, you gonna give Bumstead some competition? I mean, if he's still competing, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like well, talk to me about your nutrition. What's that been looking like? Uh, terrible. 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 I mean, I mean, my diet is good, but I I be feeling terrible. All just chicken, rice, greens, just every day. Nonstop. My coach was like, "We finna hit it hard for this competition," and then we got one. I got one in St. Louis, and it was like, "We finna just hammer, hammer down." How long you been prepping for for this one? Uh, if I can remember, since 
January. Yes, since January, TJ hit, TJ hit me up. He was like, I want you to compete in my shows. Texted my coach, let him know. We started uh, prepping for it. What was your starting weight? What's your weight on show day here? Uh, my starting weight was 165, and now my weight right now is 140, 154. Nice. Yes. Well, you look incredible, man. What's uh? So you, you got the, the show in St. Louis coming up, or that was the one that just passed? The show in St. Louis is the one coming up. Nice. Yes. Yes. Are you going to take some years off in between shows after that, or are you going to keep competing every year? What's the plan? Uh, right now the plan is to take each couple years off. Nice. Yes, I have, a, I have a kid on the way, so I want to take a couple years off and, you know, focus on that area and then jump back into it. Why Natty, man? Why do you want to stay natural? Oh, man, it's, you know, there's a lot of effects taking PEDs and all that stuff, so I want to, I want to stay natural as long as I can and then hit my limit. And then once I hit that limit naturally, start taking PEDs. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to take it in the sport, man. You look yeah. freaking incredible now. I would encourage you to keep pushing, like you say, and see what you can do naturally. Because, I mean, I'm not just blowing smoke, but like at 21 years old, you got the physique that you can really excel with it naturally. So I would just keep pushing that all the way you can, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's the uh, celebratory meal tonight going to be? Or are you going to keep it tight for that St. Louis show? Uh, I'm going to have to ask my coach on that one. Got to give him a call, see what he says. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, Keep it up, brother. You look great. Keep yeah, killing it, man. Sir. What is going on, yo? We're at the Rocktown Naturals. We got the promoter, the man, TJ West. How are you, brother? Man, myth, and I'm stressed. No legend. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine a little bit of stress right now would make sense. So yes. how do you feel? This is your first show. What's, what's it been like? Man, we're really blessed. Uh, the turnout ended up being something that just the community kind of got behind and really pulled some people our way. So we're, we're blessed because we have the bodybuilding and then we have everything else that's taking place here at Rocktown Natural Bodybuilding or the, the Strength Expo. So man, we're really happy. We're happy with our competitors and just the feel of the community that turned out to just support everybody. So this is year one. Bigger and better. That's all we're looking at and continuing to move forward. So thinking big, starting small, and acting fast, that's what we're doing. And so we're pushing into it. Well, I, I've been back here interviewing the competitors, and one thing that's been the common theme is that they've really appreciated the promoters, mm -hmm. the communication, the way, the vibe, the attitude, all that stuff. So I would say, based off of that, you, you've done it right so far, man. Man, and that, that was one of my hearts. Um, of course, I've done shows. I'm a pro myself. And so I wanted to have something to where people the experience is what they talked about. Not so much the awards and different things, but the experience they had on the stage with the people they are around. And I was backstage earlier and I have a bench set up and like all the competitors were sitting there just chuckling and laughing and just hanging out like it was family and community. And that's what we want to drive here at Rocktown Natural Bodybuilding. It's more than the stage, it's a community. Totally agree, man. Well, what's the next thing? You got one next year. So yeah, 2025 is here. Um, will coming on us now. Um, so definitely we're going to be here. And like I said, bigger and better. Um, and two, with the Strength Expo, I was hearing some people say, hey, this is like double or triple what I seen last year. So definitely we'll be here. We're here to stay. So get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I got one more question. I've been asking them, all these depleted athletes, what their celebratory meal is going to be. Mm -hmm. You are not depleted right now. You and I are both in bulk mode. What's your meal going to be? So honestly, I got some prep stuff, but I am thinking about going to Shotgun Dan's Pizza and acting on my coupon that they gave away, so I might go get some pizza. Awesome, man. Well, always a pleasure, brother. I'm excited to hit another lift with you. Yes, sir. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Yes, sir, Robert. I appreciate it. Natural bodybuilding is gaining more traction, especially in Arkansas. So my home state, I love it. Love seeing this grow, and we're going to keep promoting it to the best of our ability.